So guys, continuing our, you know, what do you call it, preview talking discussion videos for today. So yeah, uh, today has been a very weird day. Uh, tons of stuff has happened, and one of those, one of the most important things that's happened uh, today is the revelation that uh, Kishimoto is coming back to Naruto, and he's going to be taking over the Boruto manga. Uh, could could Don could Donchi apparently is leaving, and he's handing the reins over to Kishimoto. Wow, that's unexpected news. What? I'm so confused reading this. Like, um, I, the news broke. I heard it this morning. I think around this morning. I think and or afternoon when I woke up, and I was just like, what? Really? Why? So apparently, apparently Kodonchi, Kodonchi, sorry if I'm pronouncing the name wrong, but uh, 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 Kodonchi, Kodonchi was uh, supposed to only do 13 volumes, and apparently he's done 30 volumes, and now he's going to hand it over to, you know, Kishimoto to take over and finish up. So keep in mind, uh, Boruto is, is written by Kodonchi, but it's drawn by someone else, so uh, Kishimoto is only going to take part in the writing aspect. He's not coming back to draw, and unfortunately, which uh, would you know would uh, fix a lot of the problems we have when it comes to the drawings. Because, god damn it, do some of the characters not look good? Especially when it comes to female characters. Especially when it comes to female kid characters in that, and the action panels just aren't all that. But uh, uh, writing-wise, it's it's okay. Uh, the Boruto anime, in my opinion, is ten times better than than anything uh, k k k you know Kondonchi has done with the manga. The manga obviously has a main story point, but the main story is just it's not that it is interesting and it's not interesting mostly because it focuses way too much on uh, Boruto, Kawaki, Naruto and Sasuke. That's it. Those those are the the four biggest focuses. Every other character pretty much gets sidelined or, or or characters aren't even shown or revealed. You know, to this day we we haven't had appearances by um what uh, Denki, Iwabe. I don't I don't even think Metal Lee has appeared. Uh, I think I think uh, Chocho I think has appeared. Uh, Shikodai has appeared. Inoji has appeared. So the Ino Shiko Chao uh, trio, the, the next generation, has appeared basically in the manga. But uh, the only anime character to appear in the manga has been Sumire, and and every other character has hasn't been mentioned or shown. So you know, and you, you'd think they would focus on Kawaki and his relationship with the village and and him going around interacting with characters, but we don't see that. Hopefully, the anime will actually fix that aspect. And yeah, Sarada and Boruto don't really get any development. Uh, Mitsuki doesn't get any development. Orochimaru isn't really mentioned or shown. Like I said, the manga does isn't all that. You know, people are gonna say it's freaking great, it's amazing. It really isn't. It really isn't. The manga isn't all that. The anime does a much better job. The anime does a much better job at character development and world building. The recent arc has done a tremendous job of actually developing Sarada's character and uh, her relationship with uh, with her family and her parents. The last time she got major development like that was in the Gaiden manga, which was done by Kishimoto of all people. You know, a lot of people are scared that he's gonna come back and he's gonna start screwing with the female characters, but in reality, he, he's the guy who created Sarada's character, and he's the one who actually gave her the most development and sell on the path of wanting to become Hokage and not be this damsel in distress. So he did a very good job with her introduction, actually. Like, he's the one who created her and sell on, and, and wrote the aspects that people love about her character. So I don't think he's gonna do a, a, a bad job of, of of working with that character going forward. I think he might even do a better job than what Kondonchi did because he hasn't bothered to use her at all. And yeah, like I said, a lot of the side characters and the world building, it's it just it's just not shown in the manga. We don't know what's really going on in the manga. You know, every month we're waiting for a chapter, and it's just mostly majority of the time it's just information dump, or or it's an action chapter where Naruto and Sasuke are just getting kicked to the side again for the tenth hundredth time and they're not using any of the abilities that they have they're running out of chakra for some reason even though they're supposed to have massive amounts of chakra Sasuke is supposed to have six possibilities and he doesn't use them so yeah it's uh, it's it's 
it's not been very enjoyable reading the manga versus versus the anime, which honestly, it, it might, with the anime's case, I kind of wait for episodes to build up. And once there's a number of episodes to watch, I binge watch it. And at that point, it's very exciting, very entertaining. Waiting once a week for, for episodes, I can understand. It is very tiring. It is very annoying. A lot of the episodes are not all that. But when you, when you, when you sit down and you watch it in one go... It, there was a flow to it, It get things get exciting, it, it's not a slow build like it usually is when you're waiting once a week, so, you know, it's it's better that way. And honestly, like I said, the anime has done a much better job. There's a lot of good arcs in there that it's done, and the recent arc with the Kara Accutation arc has been freaking brilliant, and I can't wait to see how it's going to end and lead into uh, the manga adaptations. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, um, I think... I think Kishimoto c coming back is is both uh, is both a pro and a con really. Like I said, I think he'll do a good job of perhaps um, what is it giving side characters more to do. And I don't think he's going to ruin female characters that much. I mean, how many female characters? We got a lot of female characters, and the anime has not a the anime the an and this is the anime. The anime is the one that's been doing a good job of actually developing a lot of these characters. So the people working on the anime are, are completely different from the ones uh, from the guy who was writing the manga. Like they're the ones who are putting more of the weight really because they're the ones doing all the world building and the and the character development. With 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 Kodachi, he, he was just sort of uh, writing this 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 plot. He was focusing more on the story aspects. And yeah, the story is good. I'm not going to deny that. But character wise, it's 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 nothing special. You know, it's just like oh. Yeah, Boruto chapters out, let's see how the story progresses. You're not looking at it and going, let's see how the character progresses. You're looking at it and going, how's the story progressing? That's that's what it is. You know, the manga is story focused, whereas the anime is more character focused and world focused. So, you know, like I said, the anime does, in my opinion, a better job with what it's doing. And I'm looking more forward to that and seeing how they're going to expand all of these uh, manga storylines. But yeah, uh, I don't think, like I said, I don't think this is going to be a bad thing. Um, the, the one side negative aspect of this is that Kishimoto decides to do his own thing with the story like so whatever the story was building up to Kishimoto is probably going to come in and be like this is what's going to happen now instead like whatever was happening originally might be and might end up getting dumped out keep in mind Kishimoto does advise I think the anime staff so he, he is there as an advisor and sort of helps up with that and he did he, he, did, he does give the uh, go ahead I think with a lot of the story elements that happened with Boruto with, with Kodachi so he's the one who gives the go ahead in the first place but now he's officially taking over the writing so I don't know maybe, maybe, maybe it'll be more focused now instead because a lot of stuff has happened in the manga and it's like what like a lot of the information dump just gets very over goes over my head really at least when I'm reading it and it's like what the hell does that mean? What's going on with that? Uh, that that's new information. Uh, that wasn't really explained very well. That, that doesn't... But, but, you know, it's, it, it's just insanity at this point. And I'm hoping uh, maybe with Kishimoto back, there'll be, like I said, there'll be a tighter focus because uh, 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 recent chapters have just made me go... Uh, just made me go, what? Like, what? And not in a good way. Like, it's more in a like, what the fuck's going on? Like, I don't get what's going on. But yeah, I can understand why a lot of people would be upset. The Japanese audience apparently are pissed. Okay, like um, they're, f they're they're fuming and pissed. Like compared to the Western audiences who are who are glad Kishimoto's back, the the Japanese audience are mighty pissed. And I can understand. You know, it's weird. Yeah, you know, someone who's doing a story and then someone, suddenly someone else comes in and takes over and starts doing its own thing with it. Like. You know, it makes you wonder, like, uh, is the story going to go in the same direction that Kondonchi planned, or is it going to go off the rails and completely different to what was being planned? Like, because uh, I, I remember reading, like, this manga was supposed to go for what, for, for at least up to 100 chapters or up to 30 volumes, and we're only, on, we're, we're only just finished volume 13, so next, next chapter is the start of volume 14, and uh, when, uh, we're not even at the time skip yet, like, I, uh, I, uh, uh, like what's going on with that and uh, yeah uh, it just feels a lot of sus really it's very suspicious that Kondonchi Kondo is is leaving now like this whole this, all this stuff like he was only supposed to do 13 volumes and then you'd think you'd think with someone who knew he had a deadline right you'd think there'd be a lot of focus you'd think there'd be a lot of focus on him trying to right to a certain point and finish a certain story so that that would allow for because it, it's weird that Kishimoto is coming back after his uh, his new manga flopped you know he was doing this new manga called Samurai 8 and it got cancelled basically you know it, it wasn't doing very well it got cancelled and now he's 
coming and doing back to Naruto and he's doing this. So I don't know what's going on. And apparently the sales for the for the manga for Boruto haven't been well. The anime's done very well apparently, but the manga sales are like very bad apparently. And yeah, uh, I, I don't know if this means that they, you know, if this was a studio uh, magazine uh, choice, like when they were like, you know, bring Kishimoto back and have him do Boruto instead, like, you know, because that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. And yeah, if, it, if it's because of that, then man, that's just, that's kind of sad and deep. But I am trying to be very positive that this could be a good thing and that the writing may or may not improve. I'm hoping it improves and I'm hoping the action improves as well because, uh, and I, I know it's a different artist, but hopefully with, with Kishimoto there, maybe he'll be able to advise on how the drawings should be done. Because uh, yeah, the action segments in, in the Boruto manga are just very basic and, too, and, and very much the same sort of fight and style. Like there is no dynamic to it. There's no uniqueness to it. I know it's hard to explain. Like, like, like I said, the simplest way I can say is that the majority of the time you're reading an action Boruto chapter and it, it, it involves the character just getting kicked to the side most of the time. Like that's what it is. Or Naruto and Sasuke coming in and just getting crop stopped and not being able to do anything, which is which is weird considering it's supposed to be really, really powerful. Like, uh, and they're supposed to have all these unique abilities and yet they're showcasing none of that. So I'm hoping this will improve. Again, I'm, I'm hoping this doesn't ruin the anime and the anime stays the same and just gets better and that the manga will just help with improving the anime and it won't be a case of the anime of the manga sort of going in this weird direction and screwing up like you know that's just yeah um weird it's weird it's very weird that this has happened but yeah what the hell what the hell Anyway, right, guys as always i hope you liked this video and remember to like and subscribe and yeah hopefully we'll get some information on this during jump festa because that which is happening very soon i believe so yeah Hopefully more details then. But at the moment, uh, yeah, unexpected. Very, very unexpected. Like, like 2020, everything's very unexpected. <laughs> Take care, guys.